So I made some guacamole to go with my chilariana casserole. I added, because part of my avocados were bad. So I added some sour cream and I used this little packet when um, I keep this packet and I just use a little bit out of it each time I need to. You can get these in New Mexico. That's the only place I've ever seen them. So it's all kinds of spices and everything in it. And I added a little sour cream to that. So there's my guacamole. This is different than what I usually make, but I'm trying to use some things on that I had on hand. And now I'm going in. I had two. And I put them in this bowl to put them in the refrigerator because, yeah, they were leaking. These were frozen. And... This is hamburger meat that was previously frozen. Um, I did not make, I did not pull out the taco meat because I had written on there to be sure to use it the same day. So I must have had it in the refrigerator a couple of days before I froze it. Anyway, so much liquid, so much liquid. I'll pour some of that out. just gonna never done this in the oven but Dutch oven same difference I'm not gonna have enough to oh yeah well maybe just using what I had in the freezer this is just plain hamburger meat so I really should make it into taco meat put some taco seasoning in it yeah so originally I was going to do that taco meat that I had. Yeah, this is just cooked hamburger meat. Alright, well, let me rethink. I probably need to put some taco seasoning on it. Yeah, I'll be back. So I added my homemade taco sauce. Taco seasoning. It's not a sauce. I'm gonna let that cook a little bit and get all those spices married in there. And then we'll add it to the chili on those.
We're not having anything with it except guacamole and chili rihanna. I got the chili rihanna casserole burnt a little bit. The yeah. cheese. You did it in the oven. You never do it in the I oven. I know. So, but I, it tastes just as good, I bet you. So, I got a little bit of wok, a little bit of sour cream, and chili riano. Ooh, look at and that. And raisins and pecans. Ooh, look at that. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Are you? Mmm. <laughs> Superb as always. Yay. Mmm. Now, you know, you're going to have to make it again for Vicky Van Gogh. <laughs> Well, this was leftovers in my in the freezer oh, on my nice. meal plan. So, I had two little bags of whole uh, chili rellenos. Oh, nice! And then I had some cooked hamburger meat. Oh, so I just made it taco meat, and then so this is pulling so stuff good. out of the freezer. <laughs> So this is the leftover chili riano casserole. That's all we have left. So it is going to be breakfast this morning. I'm going to half it and put an egg on each, each, each piece. So egg with chili riano casserole for breakfast. <laughs> it's okay. You can do it. All right. Here is breakfast. Half of the Chiliano casserole. I put a little bit of cheese on top since that other was kind of burnt. And a fried egg. Leftovers done. Okay, tonight we're having hamburgers and sauteed mushrooms. The recipe for the sauteed mushrooms is coming out of the recipe book. And it's from the Dan Van. So we're having simple hamburger patties nothing special about that but um i just thought i would try i've had the before he's cooked them obviously for us several times over the years but um i'm gonna follow the recipe and make the dan band sauteed mushrooms all right i'm off a day on my uh meal plan I'm cooking this before the pizza because I don't want these to go bad. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, the recipe calls for 8 to 12 ounces of mushrooms and this is 16 ounces. So I'm going to take a few of these out and put them aside for my pizza tomorrow. I just flipped the days. So I'm going to get started cutting these up. And then I'm going to, I'm probably going to cook these first. And then cook the hamburger patties after that. I know you're not supposed to wash mushrooms, but they're sticky. So I'm going to wash my mushrooms. <laughs> I don't want them sticky. That's nasty. Okay, that's better. They're, they were sticky and slimy. Now I'm going to wipe them off. Look, ew. No, sir, I'm not going to have sticky mushrooms. That's just nasty. Okay, look at all those mushrooms. Big mushrooms. So I'm going to just start cutting them, slicing them. Slicing them up.
Okay, I'm gonna call those done. Mmm. All right, I'm making homemade pizza tonight. So I've got my flour, the yeast and sugar, and I'm warming up some water to add to it. I'm working on the crust right now. Homemade pizza crust. Got a little bit of onion left. I'm gonna use that one. I bought this one the other day. I'm gonna use the rest of this one and call it food. Okay, tonight I'm cooking the tuna casserole. So um, this is a fast, easy tuna casserole. It's just noodles, tuna, um, chicken soup. I think it's supposed to be mushroom soup, but it's going to be chicken soup. And I'm going to throw in some mushrooms and um, some peas. So right now I'm going to get the noodles started. Okay, there's the mushrooms cut up and some of those frozen peas. Oops. Here is that tuna. It's expired. I need to use it. And cream of chicken. I think this is supposed to be mushroom soup, but hey, this is what I'm got and that's what I'm using. Noodles are almost done. Now I'm just going to throw it all in there and heat it up and call it good. I'm not putting it in the oven or anything like that. Added the soup. A little bit of half and half. I think I'm going to need some uh, water. It's condensed so probably do need some water. Add the tuna. Added the mushrooms and the peas. I still need more liquid. I'm going in with some more water. Okay, there it is. Finished product. I added some garlic. Um, some garlic granules or minced garlic that I bought the other day at Dollar Tree. And I added one stick of a cheese stick, Monterey Jack, I guess. Is that what that is? The little white cheese sticks because all I had was the Kobe and I didn't want to add Kobe to this. So lots of leftovers. Mm -hmm. 